Balancer works in a similar way. And with Bancor and with Uniswap, you realize that each, to each liquidity pool only has two tokens. With Balancer, it's a bit more interesting. It's a bit more complex. It has eight different tokens. It, or it can contain up to eight tokens. So it, it has, it's a more complicated version of bonding curves. We call it, they call it nth dimension. So you need, you can't, I can't model it in 2D, but I can tell you, I can show you what it means later. Balancer is an ERC20 tokens and you can adjust a lot more things because the math is just a bit more complicated because the, the system is a bit more complicated. But the, fundam the fundamentals are still the same. The fundamental is that you have this, this mechanism that shows you the re relationship between all the different tokens, how they interact with each other. And when one increase, it has like either auto rebalancing, which is what you see in automated, ma automated market maker, they have rebalancing or they have, they have a way to, they have a way to balance the different token weights or you can get to choose them. In Bancor and Uniswap, you can't really change the weights. Everything is either fixed or done dynamically. With Balancer, you get to choose a little bit more. You get to adjust the tokens. So as I mentioned, you, your pool. So imagine going to picnic and having, and having a picnic basket. And to go for a picnic basket, you can choose up to eight items. So you can choose to have bread, strawberries, chips, drinks, cheese, wine, and the six items. So I have six items in my basket. In the same way, Balancer also works like that. In a pool, you get to choose up to eight different tokens. And then you as, as the owner and anyone who wants to join your pool has to provide those tokens into this pool. So this huge picnic basket that everyone get to, gets to put the items in. First, so as the owner, you get to decide, okay, these are the six items I want in my, in my picnic basket. You want to come to picnic with me? Then you put the items in as well. Then we can go picnic together and we can share. So that's, that's one. You get to choose your tokens. The other one, you get to choose your token weights. So if, if our picnic basket is smaller, we just have three items. We have bread, wine, and cheese. And maybe we don't want to have two bread, two wine, and two cheese because that's too little cheese, too much wine, or good enough wine, and too much bread. So you want to have maybe um, 10 cheese, one wine, and two bread. And so you get to choose the different token weights. That's what Balancer does. You get to choose your different weight, token weights. And then you get to choose transaction fees as well. So anytime, because Balancer is a pool, this picnic basket pool, right? And anyone, anytime someone's, someone wants to take cheese out to consume, to eat it and to use it somewhere else, then they have to pay a transaction fee. And you get to choose this transaction fee, um, high or low. The idea of Balancer is to be a portfolio manager. So instead of managing a portfolio in the financial world, you have your picnic basket as a portfolio and inside you have the different kind of assets in your picnic basket and you get to, you get to manage it. And the, the math will help you to do some form of rebalancing. So this is what the math is. It's, it's looks, it looks complicated, but it really is not. It's a sum of amount of tokens. Then, so it's the sum of the tokens multiplied by the weight you give. I'll explain it a little bit simpler later, but just understand that there is this thing called the invariant is the V that you see over there. The invariant is where the sum of the, the invariant balances the sum of all the tokens available. So in the previous, in Uniswap, you have K equals X, Y, right? In balancer, you have V equals, you know, X times Y times Z. And you can change the weights of that. Let's not talk about that first because it's going to be unnecessarily complicated. Let's understand what it means by, by K or V equals X times, X times Y times Z. So what I have over here, I can't, for some reason, I can't model a 3D curve. So I took an image from, from Google and this is a 3D curve. You see the 3D curve has three different axes. So you have axis, axis uh, X, Y, and Z. And from there, it shows you the different curve. If you look from a 2D angle, you can, see, you can just see the relationship between X and Z, or you can sh just see a relationship between X and Y, or you can look at the different angles to understand the different relationships between the two tokens. But at the end of the day, all these three tokens are connected in a specific way. This specific way is this V that you see over here. So instead of a 2D curve that we see in, in Uniswap like this, we see a bit of a 3D curve, a, a 3D curve, and this 3D curve is this V. So previously in Uniswap, we have this, 
this one curve only, the one curve, we call that k. That's the constant. With balancer, it's a bit more complicated because it's 3D or 4D or 5D, depending on how many tokens you have in place. And that, that curve, which is fixed, is called V. Of course, this V can change by having more liquidity, so the curve moves, moves out or in. But the concept is that it, it's constant, it's fixed, it's the invariant. Why is it important? Because when you have increase or decrease in one token, then it affects the two other tokens. And the robot, the smart contract, this is the rule that they will have to play by. This is the invariant, this is the curve, this, this gradient curve, this colorful curve that they have, they have to follow, they have to, they have to exist on the, the panel of the curve, depending on how you want to place your x, y, and z axis. So this is just the very basic understanding first of what Balancer's protocol is, to give you an understanding of how different token assets can affect the shape of the curve, the, the visualization of the curve.